Okay. If we do Yuri first, will that make her like us more? Let's think about this. If we do it first, she might think, Oh! Like, oh. First is the worst, second is the best. Uh, but if we do her last, she might think, Oh, he forgot about me, and I'm the last one. So we'll do, we'll do... Natsuki first. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poem yesterday. It's probably only fair I share mine with her first. Crusher, if you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. What? What? Harsh. What? What do you actually expect me to believe? You put effort into this? You think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Ultimate come on. Painful to think about? Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I tell you what to approve, but you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, to each to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I gotta share mine now. Knowing knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. Eagles can fly. It's true. Monkeys can climb. Yeah. Rickers can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try, but that's about it. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because. Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. That did not hit me hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple handwriting, uh, simple writing, is that it puts you more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Sorry. This is a good poem, Kasher. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right, but that's why it's impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously, or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you just wrote one. It reminds me of how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in, in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm, I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Crusher. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something only really good people do. Dude, I can't read anymore. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny she's part of the reason I joined. Like how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That'll be my new way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Now you read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, The way you go through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me remodel the sleeping from my house. It's weird. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you, tr are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Okay, then. Sayori, this is just a guess, but 
Did you wait until the morning to write this? No. I j just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit. It's a, to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to, to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or... Uh, how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school, it's bad to skip breakfast. I skip it every school day, bro. Actually, and every weekend. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in argument. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Yeah, but next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. Monica. Hi, Crusher. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, right? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just showing, going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, I want to share your poem with me. It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Aha. Uh -huh. Don't worry, Crusher. We're all a little bit embarrassed, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm -hmm. Great job, Crusher. I was going, oh, in my head while reading it. That means absolutely nothing, man. It's really metaphorical. I want to read my own poem, please. Not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. Guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put some in some effort. Uh -huh. That's not very fair. Well, I guess I worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? I know. Writing that, that's full of energy, imagery, and symbolism. I'm like Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe ha happiness and sadness. Yuri likes it when readers le left are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel. Or letting them deeply analyze all of the nu nuances. I don't know how to pronounce that. It could take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked, though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn, and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find the suit what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Uh huh. Uh huh. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident. Who some? For someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that's because I, I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Let me take a drink first. This is drying my throat. <sighs> Everybody gets into the scroll bar on the... Paper cups. <sighs> Hold it. Hold it, Wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction. <sighs> See the direction the, the spackle pr protrudes? A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. A reel. But I'm like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Searching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. He, on the other side, was looking in. 
what? When performed that loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, uh, well, I'm not really sure how to put it. I guess you could say that I have some kind of epiphany recently. It's been f influencing my poems a bit. Am I your epiphany, Monica? An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk deep like that stuff. Because it's kind of coming out strong but strongly. Maybe after everyone is best friends with each other. Better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just to force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen on the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Last, but absolutely not least. I sure I read a poem. I noticed her eyes light. Exceptional. Huh? What was that? Did, did I just say that out loud? Yuri fir first covers her mouth, but then ends up by covering her whole face. I... And then she becomes like a skinwalker, or like an alternate, where she, her eyes just disappear and turn into red streaks. I... Mm, he's going to hate me. Why? Okay. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Huh? That's... I, I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. Dude, this game is so bad. It's not... Okay. I shouldn't say that. The game is not bad, like, obviously, a bunch of effort went into this, I guess, and this is good, like, I guess, but, there's no horror. Like, the, the words in the poem kind of creep me out, like, the, the suicide, like, drabby or melancholy, Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poems again. Well, I know that. I just meant, uh, um, Yuri chose off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in the poem, as if breaking down more thoroughly. Yeah, okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific... Writing habits are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I've kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize is new writers in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to p pick up a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her first train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not just something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing of even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with new practice, and learning by example, and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. That certainly can be a bit biased, though. Biased? How? Uh, um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or Natsuki. Do, I, do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamingly. As if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It, mu it must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the, the test of time. 
the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green light hue of the future. I bathe. Calm. Can I see? Breathing air out of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. I, I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you such a long time to read. Ah. Well, I just don't read script that really very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it's really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I want to write something a little more mild. Something easy to di digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Hoo hoo? Ha ho? Ha ha. What does that say? Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Crusher. Really? That must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it at all. all. <sighs> but remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiments in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of all poems is being only symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her, in her last remaining place of comfort, comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be a, to to be. And soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I haven't even thought of that. That's impressive. Huh? It, it's nothing, really. Yours was impressive, too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Ah. You know, I was really nervous about doing all this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Crusher. Ah, me too. You. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's where I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As I read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in, in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute. Did you completely miss a symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Huh? You mean you have to try it that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but I really didn't need. I did. I, I. Thanks, but I really didn't. Thanks, but I, it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. So I already liked it. And Crusher did too. So based on that, I'll give you, give some, give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. First, unless I come, uh, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. And Crusher liked my poem too, you know. He even told me it, he was impressed by it. That Suki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. <laughs> Who's throwing a bounty ball around, bro? That's not what I- You- You're just- Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Crush appreciates my advice more than you appreciate yours. Huh, but how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I- No. If I was full of myself, 
I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do over cute cutesy. Ooh. Oh. Uh, um. Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the only one who. I wasn't the only one whose boobs magically grew a, a size bigger as soon as pressure started showing up. No complaints here. N Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. I, I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me. As I just noticed, I was standing there. Crusher! She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Dude, this is so goofy. Uh, if she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Well, what's the point of making all your parents... Pu parents? Parents? What's the point of making all your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out, like the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Let me explain it to her, Crusher. W wait, there's a reason we have so many deep and aggressive words in our language. That's the only way to convert, convey express, complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is only unnecessarily limiting yourself. It's also a waste. You understand that, right, Crusher? Um, well... How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I, whomever I agree with, they probably think more highly of me. So, of course, that's going to be... Oh, yay. That's Suki. You're right that I like about your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what I'm, happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Hmm, I understand. Yuri? Yeah? You're a seriously talented writer. That's a, it's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. This is definitely not something I would say, by the way. That's why Natsuki feels threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. Ooh. But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well. And if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized, don't you think you should too? Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped at this point being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up feeling bad for her. Um... Sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. So don't worry, she doesn't need to... You know what? I'm gonna do that. It'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Without warning, Natsuki snatches her own pulp up from the desk and stor storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Natsuki... She really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly, gingerly, I gingerly approach her and sit down in an adjacent chair. <sighs> Everything all right? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri. How can anyone you have gotten that frustrated over being treated like that? Not have gotten that frustrated. You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, all right, I believe you. Thanks, Crusher. You're too kind. I'm thankful I have you part of this club now. Uh, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing that Suki said about, you know, I would never do anything. So shameful. So, huh? What thing did that Suki say? I know what she said. Also, I am going to do measurements for research purposes. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, well, never mind that. I'm going to do some- make some tea. Ah, uh, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Y yeah Tea with Yuri? Just about time for us to leave. 
How'd you all feel about sharing your poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. For sure, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to do. To talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Maybe you learn something new for your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, I did, I did learn a little bit more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself a newfound determination. Crusher, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It really has been a while since Sayori and I spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, I thought what happened earlier. What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki? Does that thing kind of happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've ever seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. Oh, I hate one of them. Natsuki. I, I actually hate him. The most. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I could see why, why they make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Crusher, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Uh, looks like Sarori still hasn't caught on to this kind of situation. I mean, sure, being friends with everyone is so nice, but does it really need to stop there? No, it does not. We'll just have to see what the future stuff holds, Sayori. I pass Sayori on the shoulder. I said that... I said that more to myself than her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an interno internal monologue sometimes. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Okay, I'm going to stop there, because I've been recording for like an hour and 10 minutes, or an hour and 20 minutes. And, uh, yeah, I really hope something interesting does happen soon. Because right now, this is, you know, how do I say this? A talking simulator. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you next episode. Uh, I recommend checking out some of my other videos, such as, uh, uh, No Snake Hotel, which is a pretty short video. Uh, assessment and Examination is a good one. And Mr. Tomato, because that was actually pretty scary. So yeah, uh, those videos are pretty good. And also, uh, please subscribe if you like my channel. And like the video, if you like the video. And consider leaving a comment to tell me your feedback on the video. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Or next episode. Goodbye.